Welcome back to the IMF Diaries and you can see I've already got the car driven up this time onto the wheels free bars and we're going to drop the pack out again today. Using hop drive we're looking to try and solve some of these DTC codes particularly the CM09 battery cell which was fine on the old battery pack but with this new battery pack is causing issues and may well be stopping the main charging state to happen. So we're going to drop the pack and find out. I'm going to start once again by taking the plastic covers off. These little plastic clips, there's a few of them on the under tray, they're a little bit of a pain so I've made myself a little clip, a bit like a pair of tweezers, which if you squeeze and you pull, they'll just fall out ever so easily putting a stand from the ramp to the bottom of the pack and then dropping the pack bolts out so I can lower the pack completely out. Got one or two tests to do as well today. Dropping the pack you can find a link to the video here. There's also a link to how to take the battery pack apart, something else I've done before. With the pack open it's time to look at CMU09, which is the third pack down. So that's one, two, three packs. So I need to get this pack off and have a look at the CMU inside. With the lid off CMU09, the first thing to do is to just check that everything is actually quite tight. Unfortunately, this appears to be the case. So my initial suspicion that I'd not tightened up these little screws appears to be incorrect. My next job is to measure the value of each cell and compare it to that that the BMS reads out via my phone app. Every single cell measures 3.97 across all eight cells. So there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the cells. So I've taken the adjacent block CMU10 off. So 09 was reporting to the car variable voltages, particularly on these middle cells. Sometimes they were really quite low, well over 100 millivolts away from what they're reading. On the bench, every one measures 3.97. So this is CMU09. The adjacent block also measures 3.97 on every single cell. So I'm going to change this green board over with the 09 board and put them back in the appropriate places. We believe they have to go in the right spot. So I've swapped over the two boards so that they're now on different battery packs. And I also know the voltages of the battery pack. And if you're not sure how I changed these BMS boards, there's a link to a video on screen now, because I've done this in a previous issue. So the two packs are back in. This pack was CM10s, so I know that the car didn't complain about these batteries, but it's now got CM09 BMS on top of it and is in the C BMS09 position. This pack, the car previously complained about. So if it complains about the uh, a fault on CMS010, then I know that the batteries are at fault. If it now complains still about a fault on CMS09, I can guess that maybe that green BMS uh, unit is at fault and I might have to look for a replacement. Let's put the pack back up into the car and loosely connect it. You'll notice I've left the lid off. I'm expecting to have the pack down again. So this is just going up for testing. To temporarily connect the battery block, I've done the two connections at the front, the two big orange connectors, but I haven't put the connectors into the chassis. I haven't put any of the pack bolts into the chassis. On the UK driver's side, I've attached all these little connections and I've also connected the connection to the Chadamo cable, but I've not put the Chadamo cables into the battery box because I'm not planning to charge it by Chadamo. And then on the passenger side, I've connected the two high voltage terminals, these two orange ones, and I've also connected the earth lead to the chassis. Let's try and see if it works. Got to connect the auxiliary battery up next. So turning the car on, 
I get battery charge and it lights up into drive quite easily but I still get a battery fault. Looking at my hob drive I still have a CM09 fault so clearly that board is playing up. That's a shame. There's a lot of information particularly on forums and on uh, YouTube that say that the BMUs, the CMU boards that are inside each pack have to stay in the relative position. So this is 07, 08, 09, 10 and 11. I was asked by the IMEV forum particularly to see whether or not that was actually the case because it's these data cables that run along here that plug into the cells. So I've swapped 9 and 10 over as I was looking at 9 to test it and both were loose. The cells in here I've already swapped over but I had put originally 09 in here and 10 in here. Now I've put the 10 CMU actually in the 09 position and the 10 position has now got the CMU 09 BMS in it. Let's put the battery pack up and see whether it still works. So let's try turning the key on. So we actually get cells recognised. That means the CMUs do not need to be in their right positions because the car just recognises where they are. Next job, see if it will turn to drive. And it does. There's a miracle. But we've still got a battery fault. So I've still got a CM09 fault. That means that board is almost certainly faulty. So that seems to work. So the fact that you've just got to make sure you've got all the right numbered CMUs inside the battery pack doesn't actually seem to matter whether or not they're in the right position. You just need the correct number. You can't have duplicates. So I couldn't have two CMU09 identified boards within the same pack. So that's something useful to learn. However, it still doesn't solve my problem, and the problems continue. You'll have to find out more on the IMEV tales to see whether or not we actually managed to fix the battery pack within this car. I now need a new CMU09 BMS board.